So I was scrolling through Reddit the other day, as you do, and I came across something that is very interesting. So I want to share that with you today. So there is a Vim mode that allows you to use it in a very non-Vim-like way, and it's called Easy Mode. Now, I, I saw this and I was like, Vim doesn't have an Easy Mode. Vim is notoriously hard to exit. It's so hard to exit that it's become a meme, right? It's not supposed to be easy. You're supposed to have to learn it. That's the point of Vim, right? It's kind of like having a easy mode for Emacs or something like that. You know, it's just, it's antithetical to the purpose of the thing, right? But no, there is actually an easy mode for Vim and it is really, really weird. So let me show you what it looks like. So first I should give credit where credit is due, the original discovery of this, although I'm sure it's probably not the first discovery of it, came from this blog here, Learn by Example. I'll link it in the video description below, but I didn't, I wanted to give credit just because, you know, that's what you should do. But anyways, let me show you what Vim's easy mode looks like. So in order to get into Vim easy mode, you type in Vim and then you do the dash Y option, and then you'd give the name of the file that you want to edit or create. So I'm just going to do test.txt. Now, out of the bat, it still kind of looks like Vim, right? There's not much here. You will notice, though, if you have a Vim RC or an NVim RC or something like that, it will not follow your Vim RC as far as I can tell. Not a big deal because you're not going to be using this for very long. And the one thing you'll also notice is that it automatically puts you in insert mode. Now, theoretically, this could be good. I suppose it would save you from having to actually, you know, press the I key in order to get into insert mode if you just wanted to hop right into something and start, you know, writing. But that's not really the idea here. The idea here is that you can, you know, type, you know, as you do, all this very awesome prose that I'm, you know, putting down here. And then you can use your mouse. So if I wanted to do this, I could highlight this and then start typing again and it actually replaced that and if I wanted to you know do the same thing here I could do uh, the Linux cast you know whatever you know it it's that's weird because that's not the way them works but also let's just say you wanted to quit how would you quit and save well in normal vim you do colon wq but obviously you're in insert mode so to get out of any kind of mode that is not normal mode, you'd normally hit escape, and you'd think, well, wait a minute, hold on a second, what did that do, right, you hit escape, and insert goes away, and then it comes right back, insert goes, and the escape key doesn't work, the escape key doesn't work, <laughs> what, what's going on here, the escape key is like the most important Vim key, you know, some people go so far as to remap the caps lock key as escape, because it's one of the most important Vim keys, right, it doesn't work in easy mode, <laughs> okay, so, so how do you get out of this thing. Well, control Q allows you to save. So it asks you there at the bottom, would you like to save this? And you hit yes, and that will get you out of it. And then if you go back into it, it actually shows you where it was. Now, here are a couple other really weird things. So let's just cop, let's just highlight something here with the mouse as you would do in a text editor and hit control C. Now, in normal Vim, control C does weird things, right? It def definitely does not copy. But in easy mode, if I hit control V, you can see it actually copied that to the system buffer or the, sy the system clipboard, just like you'd expect in like a word processor. It's really weird because that's not the, usually if you wanted to copy something to the system clipboard, you'd have to find a way of, you know, highlighting it and then control shift V, you know, that would copy it to the clipboard that the is managed by the terminal that you're using uh, or you have to set up vim in a certain way in order for the uh, copy and paste functionality with uh, uh, yank and paste and stuff like that in order to get it to your your clipboard but here copying is just a matter of highlighting with the mouse hitting control c going to a new line hitting control v that is i mean that's the way it should work in like regular word processors, but it's not the way that it works in Vim. It's really freaking weird and it's freaking me out. Obviously, another thing that has gone here, right, is normal mode. Normal mode is what you do when you get into escape or when you hit the escape key to get out of insert mode. And then you could use the, you know, the Vim keys to move around. But that uh, uh, doesn't work because you can't get into normal mode. You have to use the, the good God, the arrow keys like a like a Neanderthal. You know, <laughs> it's really, really freaking weird. 
so what's the purpose of all this, right? It's called easy mode. So if you if we actually get out of this control uh, Q and uh, hit yes, sure, why not? And we do uh, man vim. We'll actually see if we scroll down here to the dash Y option. Uh, it takes a little bit. We could actually, you know, have gotten here faster, but it's right here. Start Vim in easy mode, just like the executable was called eVim or eView, makes Vim behave like a click and type editor. That's all we get. Now, there are apparently, according to the blog where I found this, a few things that you should be able to do. Now, apparently, you can hit Control O in order to use com the command mode, but I couldn't get that to work. Or control, you know, if I go back to that thing, thing here and go back to our thing and hit Control O, Actually, you, that does actually work. So if you hit Control O, you could then use you know colon Q in order to quit or write and quit or whatever you wanted to do. So theoretically, the Vim stuff is still there, so that's nice. So Control O, and then we could do you know write and quit, and that would save and quit it. So that's cool. There's also another one that he puts here or they put here, Control L, which will get you back into normal mode. So if we try that, so if we hit Control L, that gets us into normal mode. And you can use then them just like you would normally use. And that, that would also allow you to then use, wait a minute, hold on a second. Control L would allow you to use the Vim keys. So if you if you got into easy mode and you needed to go back to actually using Vim the proper way, you hit, could hit Control L and then use the Vim keys just like you normally would. So yeah, that's easy mode with proper c copy and paste, you know, just like the regular kind. And always in insert mode unless you, you know, deliberately exit insert mode. It is really weird. It's like this whole situation is bonkers to me, right? It's just, I, once you hit control L, I, I think it, I'm not sure how you get back to easy mode. Apparently it doesn't put you right back in easy mode. There's probably a way, but once you're in easy, you know, this whole easy mode is just like, you know, we, oh, we can copy with the mouse. We could... I wonder if drag and drop works. No, it doesn't. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be even more weird. But you kind of get the idea, right? It, it gives you the option of using your mouse inside of Vim. Now, you, there are ways of making Vim more mouse friendly with your VimRC. You know, a lot of people do that. Uh, but it's not really the way Vim is meant to be used. So, but this is full-fledged mouse support inside of Vim. But also, it takes away all of the Vim stuff, right? Uh, the Vim keys here don't work by default. You're in insert mode all the time, just like you would be in like you open up LibreOffice. You're in insert mode because you can just start typing. And that's the way this works here, right? And so it takes away all the Vim stuff. And it's just if you wanted to use this to, you know, just type a document or whatever, and you're more used to using, you know, your mouse and keyboard together, I suppose this would be for you. But I, I mean, it kind of takes away the goodness of using Vim because Vim, the reason why Vim is good is because of the Vim things that it comes with. Things like, you know, macro mode and all the command uh, modes and the regular modes that you, you get, you know, visual block mode and visual mode and all this stuff and find and replace and all the stuff that goes into Vim that other text editors don't really have or have in different ways, right? That's what makes Vim, Vim. And uh, the easy mode takes all of that away. It really, the first time I got into it, I was like, Man, this is just really freaking weird. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm okay with this. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I was very, very uncomfortable when I realized that in order to move around, you have to go back to using the arrow keys. Like I disabled the arrow keys in Vim maybe two years ago or so because at some point when I first started using Vim, the arrow keys was was still a handicap for me. Like it, st it still was my primary means of navigating, right? And by default, arrow keys will work just like you would expect them to in Vim, but I disabled them so that I could get used to using the Vim keys, which is what you're supposed to use. And then I go back to Vim easy mode and the Vim keys don't work and you have to go back to using the arrow keys. It was a very jarring experience. I think I'm going to need some therapy. So that is it for uh, this video. If you've ever used Vim in easy mode, let me know in the comment section below if you find this just as weird as uh, I, I do. Uh, also, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Links for LiberaPay and YouTube will be in the video description as well. 
Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channels would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. If you are still watching this video right now, I would really appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video. Uh, with my little hiatus because of my illness, YouTube has kind of removed me from the algorithm. So any likes that you guys could give me would be highly appreciated. So thank you very much for that. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.